Now let us move to question number 5. Kim ran into his house, slamming the door behind him. He threw his book bag on the floor and plopped onto the coach. After six hours of playing, Grand Lazarini summoned. He ate some pizza and fell asleep with a slice on his stomach and his feet on his book bag. When Kim came from school the next day, he was noticeably distraught. He bailed up his report card and placed it inside a soup can in the garbage. He then flipped the soup can upside down in the garbage and arranged loose pieces of trash over it. As he plopped down on the coach, he let out a sigh and picked up his controller. Was Kim's report card good or bad and why was it like that? It was quite good but it didn't matter him at all or it was bad but this thing never bothered him or he ignored the whole scenario and started playing Grand Larency or some other game again and this is the only reason why he failed because he used to spend all the time on games daily or it was good but he had expected better results which he didn't get or he thus tried to focus again and thought for a while by flipping the can and rearranging the trash but all his efforts went in vain or can't be determined or none of the above. So it was bad but the thing never bothered him. He ignored the whole scenario and started playing Grand Larsency or the other game. And this is the only reason why he failed because he used to spend all the time on games daily as he sat on the coach carelessly and again held the controller which shows a careless attitude. So the right choice could be option 2. Now let us move to question number 6. Annie sat by the fountain in the park with her head in her palms. She was weeping mournfully and her trotting was disheveled. In between gasps and sobs, Annie cried out a name, Oh John, and then her cell phone beeped. Her hand ran into her purse and her heart fluttered. The text message was from John. She opened up the message and read the few bare words. I need to get my jacket back from you. Annie threw her head into her arms and continued sobbing. What relationship do John and Annie have? The options, whether it is brother and sister or boyfriend, girlfriend or father and daughter or uncle and niece. So, from the given options, what could be the right choice? Since it says, I need to get my jacket back from you, where John revealing the same, it should be a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. Now, let us move to question number seven. Emily rolled over in her bed as she felt the sunlight hit her face. The beams were warming the back of her neck when she slowly realized that it was a Thursday and she felt a little too good for a Thursday. Struggling to open her eyes, she looked up at the clock. 9.48, she shouted. Holy cow! Emily jumped out of bed, threw on the first outfit that she grabbed, brushed her teeth in two swipes, threw her books into her backpack and then ran out the door. What problem is Emily having? Is it she is having insomnia or she had the worst nightmare or she is sick of getting up early in the morning or she is having no problem. It is just she has woken up late and she has to leave for the school or college as soon as possible. 
So from the given statement, it can be understood that she is having no problem. It is just that she has woken up late and she had to leave for the school or college as soon as possible. As she jumped out of bed, threw on the first outfit that she grabbed, brushed her teeth in two swipes, threw her books into her backpack and then ran out of the door. Next, question number 8. Kevin was waiting in front of the corner store at 3.56. His muscles were tense and he was sweating a bit more than usual. The other kids gathered in front of the little storefront were much more relaxed, even playful. They joked back and forth lightly to each other, but for Kelvin, time slowed 357. Don't worry, Kelvin. He ain't even gonna shop. Kelvin hoped that he wouldn't. A blank four-door Camry with tinted windows pulled up and parked across the street. Kelvin gulped. 358. A group of teenagers piled out of the car. James was in the front. Hi, yeah, Kelvin. Glad you could make it, James said. Kelvin felt smaller. Why is Kelvin waiting at the corner store? Is it due to he was the servant of the teenagers or he had accepted a challenge or he was waiting for the James and his group as he was told to do so or he was going to rob the store or he was the enemy of the teenagers and wanted to kill them. So from the given statement, so we can understand that he was waiting for the James and his group as he was told to do so because it can be clearly inferred from the attitude of the Kelvin. Now let us move to question number 9. Chelsea took the cap off his head, dropped the baseball bat and rested his elbows on the fence. It was not that he couldn't find the ball. It was sitting right in the middle of the lawn, just beyond the fence. The fence was not very high either. Chelsea would probably get a running start, grab the top of the fence and flip right over it. But there was a dog, a large rottweiler with a spiked collar. He sat around an evening a few feet away from the ball. He looked at Chelsea and let out a menacing growl. Archie, Scotty and Dutch ran up to Chelsea and surveyed the situation. Archie was the first to speak. So, are you going to do it, Chelsea? What were the boys doing right before the text begins? Or they were trying to make the dog run away? Or they were practicing cricket? or they were resting in the lawn or they were washing their basket kit, baseball kit or they were playing baseball. So we can easily ascertain that they were playing baseball. Now let us move to question number 10. Honey, I am home. Vasco shouted as he crossed the threshold. He walked into the kitchen and put his coat and bag on a counter stool, careful not to damage the flask that he was carrying. Where are you, honey? Vasco asked. I am upstairs, dearest. Daisy shouted as she finished wrapping the tie. Vasco held the flask behind his back and crept up the stairs. Daisy tied the bow and concealed the package behind her back as she stepped into the hallway. Their eyes met and Vasco and Daisy smiled at one another. What is Vasco's relation to Daisy? Is it husband wife or brother sister or father daughter or son mother or uncle niece? So here it can be ascertained as their way of greeting each other says they are Husband and wife. 